Hey fellow traders, in this video we're gonna take a look at the average directional movement index indicator for MT5. You can download the indicator by the link in the description below. To run the indicator, simply drag the average directional movement index indicator from the indicator list to your MT5 chart. I also want to recommend you an indicator that shows levels where other retail traders place their stop-loss orders. The price is very likely to interact with these levels. This can be seen on a historical chart. The best way to use this indicator is to sneak your take profit into such stop-loss clusters. Thus, it will be triggered with a higher probability. And if your position is opposite, you can try to avoid placing your stop-loss orders in such a cluster. In this case, decreasing the probability it will be triggered. Simple and brilliant. Try this indicator for free using the link in the description below. Along with stop loss clusters, you will also get 7 other sentiment indicators. The average directional movement index, also known as ADX, is a technical indicator for MT5 that determines the strength of a trend. The ADX indicator uses plus DMI and minus DMI lines, along with ADX line to measure the strength of the price movement. This indicator is non-directional, registering trend strengths regardless of the price direction. The IDX in general is ultimate trend indicator. IDX calculations are based on moving average of price action. An oscillator usually consists of three separate lines, which are used to determine whether you should go long or short a trade, or whether you should avoid a trade. So how to trade with average directional movement index indicator? The rising of the positive directional indicator plus D indicates the strength of the trend. On the other hand, the strength of a downtrend is indicated by the negative directional indicator minus D. Wilder proposed that when the ADX value is above 25, there is a significant trend. And when it is below 20, it is a signal that there is no trend. When the ADX begins to fall from the high levels, it is a sign that the trend is coming to end. If the ADX falls, this may indicate that the market is becoming less directional and the current trend is weakening. As the trend changes, you may wish to avoid trading at this time. Crosstalk between plus D and minus D is also useful. When the plus D line rises above the minus D line and the ADX exceeds 25, this is considered a buy signal. And when minus D crosses above the plus D and IDX rises above 25, traders often go short. In the indicator settings, we can change the period to calculating the IDX. Also in the color tab, we can change the style and color of the lines. IDX is a useful tool for determining the overall strength of a trend. Like any other technical indicators, you should combine the IDX with other indicators to confirm the direction of the trend. Moreover, you can download the indicator by the link in the description below. Bye-bye.